While South Orange County is home to some of the area's newest communities, its origins date back to the 1800s when it was part of two sprawling Spanish land grants, Rancho Niguel and Rancho Mission Viejo. You know, the Moulton family developed this area in the last century and uh, infrastructure is important. Pipes have come before people. So when they put this all together, they began installing that infrastructure. And this is, this is way back. This is before we landed on the moon. In 2016, a break occurred in a critical portion of one of our pipelines. The event shed light on a significant issue for the district's operations. Back in 2016, we had a break. We had a, a, a failure in our line that we had to take real serious action to. And it affected homes and businesses in the eastern portion of the district. It was clear something had to be done, but replacing this key pipeline was not going to be as straightforward as other similar projects. In addition to the usual concerns about impacting neighborhoods, the project presented the district with unique challenges. Now we recognize we had to do this going under the five freeway. And if you've been on the five freeway, you know how busy it gets. Probably the next biggest challenge we had on this project was working within the natural areas of Oso Creek in the project area. We're dealing with a lot of big equipment and we need to make sure that those natural areas are protected. Because protecting the freeway and the natural environment of Oso Creek was, was so important on this project, we knew that we needed to find a technology, something that was cutting edge. So when we found microtunneling was going to be the solution for our project, it worked out perfect that we had a, a microtunneling partner right here in our own backyard. The process is unique in the fact that we don't have to have that big a footprint to put all of this equipment, which is quite a bit of equipment on it. And the, the job was set up in such a way we could put it on the south side of the freeway, it all fit. Even with the best solution in place, extensive cooperation was needed from both the public and private sectors. The state of California, Caltrans and OCTA, they all played very crucial roles in this project. Despite the challenges, Moulton Nagel leadership saw an opportunity to improve the region's water reliability. And again, the district found itself on the cutting edge. This project gave us an opportunity, we were already running lines, to run additional lines, up the size, up the capacity. In August of 2020, the I-5 microtunnel project was complete. The project maintained regular flow of traffic on the I-5 freeway and protected the Oso Creek habitat and surrounding communities. The new pipes will last up to 100 years and the expanded recycled water capacity further enhances water reliability for the district's ratepayers and critical institutions. When we think about the benefits to the community, top of mind really comes to Mission Hospital and the Mission Regional Medical Center. Mission Hospital is such an asset to, not only to Mission Viejo, but all over Orange County. None of this would be possible without the amazing talent of the most amazing people I know. You know, after a decade of service on this board, I've seen a lot of projects, and this is one to be extra proud of. The staff at Moulton Miguel rallied, pulled this together, did something that really was one of a kind. I'm so proud of Moulton Miguel to be able to work with so many partners, uh, the city of Mission Viejo, OCTA, Caltrans, to be able to complete this project that will serve so many people for many years to come. Uh, and to do it without disrupting uh, traffic on the I-5, which is a very important route in the state of California, is a major accomplishment. Uh, kudos to Moulton Miguel.